One house. I need a second chance. Women from all walks of life. Striving. Bonding. Reinventing themselves. This house changed my life. Starting over. Life has never been this real. How's everybody doing on day four? Good. Good? What's good mean? Um, well, it's just good for me because I hadn't told my story just yet. Who hasn't told us? Just you and Deborah. Deborah. Deborah and Tawanda. Deborah, you talked about needing patience. Because today, we're going to go to Tawanda first. And it's really to support you in the process, based on our conversation yesterday. Just know that I'm here for you. Just know that Ianla's here for you, and that the Starting Over House is here for you. And we are going to move to Tawanda to help you practice as another day of patience. Does that make sense? So, we, once upon a time, there was a lady named Tawanda. And today, we're going to tell her story. Let's have an inner vision of Tawanda. Whoa. Oh, wow. Whoa. <laughs> My secret is about to come out, and I'm very interested in seeing how Deborah is going to react. What? Who is that? Yeah. Okay. That's two of my sisters and myself. That's Tamar, Trina, and me. And what do you guys do? We were actually at a photo shoot for the cover of our album. Your album? Mm -hmm. In 1996, we released an album called The Braxtons. The Braxtons? Mm -hmm. Wait, you are not Tony's sister? Yes, I am. Girl, lover. Thank you. I think was nervous in sharing that Toni Braxton was her sister, at least in the beginning, because I really feel she wants to let people see who she is. So, so what what part did you sing in the group? Um, I mean, you know, alto, soprano, a contralto. A contralto. Mm -hmm. oh, so you you carry the melody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Yes. That's good. So the five of you were in the group, right? Singing together, mm -hmm. the Braxton, right? And Tony got some. Mm -hmm. We had a showcase for L.A. and Babyface. And Tony talked to them and they wanted to sign her. She had a great voice. And I will never forget, my sister Tracy said, you know what, Tony, do your thing. And, you know, just this is a chance of a lifetime. It's really cool that Tawanda is Tony Braxton's sister. And it's really cool that they have a close relationship despite the, um, the breaking up of the Braxton's group. So then it was me, Tamar, and Trina. And Tracy fell out because... Tracy fell out. Um, she was pregnant. But now the five-part harmony mm -hmm. has become a three-part mm -hmm. harmony. And Tony's... Got, talk to me about that and what that felt like to start losing pieces of that foundation. I couldn't imagine what it would be like to have your sister rocket, you know, to some type of success. And you're probably as talented... When Tamar left the group, I didn't know about it. What do you mean? She didn't tell me. What do you mean? She left and didn't tell you? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Just breathe through it. <clears throat> she signed a contract and didn't tell me. And I was so embarrassed because I was actually trying to create something else for us, the three girls. And it was like everyone in the industry knew but me and Trina. The difference between Tony and Tamar is that Tony came to us first and say, hey guys, you know, LaFace wants to sign me. How do y'all feel about it? With Tamar, it wasn't like that. She didn't come to us and tell us, hey guys, I have an opportunity. It was nothing like that. As soon as when I found out about it, she tried to sugarcoat it. And how did you respond? It wasn't good. It was difficult because we were so used to being with each other. Because it was always the five girls, the five girls, the five girls. Even when we were singing behind my father, because my father was a minister. Your father was a minister? Mm -hmm. And so was my mother. 
Well, what happened was my father stepped out on my mother. What does that mean? Um, Your father? He committed adultery. Okay, he had an affair. Infidelity. Okay. And as they were minister. Right, as minister. And my parents were getting a divorce. They were under the United Methodist Conference. Mm. And it was either he revealed it or he stepped down. He stepped down. Okay. From my understanding, he's still ministering now since all of that stuff has gone on. But I don't think I'll be able to sit through a sermon listening to him. Why not? Because to me, it'd be fake. What would be fake? Listening to him preach. It's a healing process for me. Yeah. I, I'm not there. Okay. But don't say you wouldn't be able to just at this time. At this time. And I don't know, but not at this time. I respect that. But can I ask you a question? Would you be open to the possibility that that could change? Just, it's it's going to be very difficult. So then you're not singing anymore with the group? No. The harmonies, no more group. No more group. How do you feel about that? Awful. It's not a good feeling. Mm. Nothing hurts more than to be abandoned and to be left in the dark. And I feel that Tawanda has so much hurt inside from that that um, she just really is afraid to share. Let's see the next picture. <laughs> <laughs> now, who is that? That's me and my honey. <laughs> We go to the karaoke bar every Saturday. Every Saturday. <laughs> so I'm That's hearing like a date for us. When did you get married? January 9th. Of this year? This year? Oh, you're a newlywed. Oh. So did you have a wedding? Did you? What happened? Well, what had happened was... Oh, no. We woke up one day. It was on Friday. And said, we need to go ahead and get married. We were talking about it. But we actually got up this day and went to the courthouse. It took us an hour. And got married. Wait a minute. Work with me. Minister's daughter. Mm -hmm. And you went to the courthouse mm -hmm. to and married. got married. Why didn't you have a wedding? Well, not big, just wedding. A wedding. A ceremony. Yeah. I just have one little girl. It would break my heart if um, my daughter went to the justice of the peace to get married. It would break my heart. And her mother's a minister, so I know it broke her heart that her child didn't get married in the church. We were going to get married September of last year. However, my sister Trina set her date one month prior to the date we set. So we said, you know what, we'll just go ahead and get married next year, which would have been this year, and we just went ahead and did it in January. But there's a theme here. Tamar didn't tell you she was leaving the group, mm -hmm. and Trina didn't tell you she was getting married. Mm -hmm. What you I'm say? the middle child. Everybody leaves her in the dark. Yeah. And she tends to get the... And she holds the melody. She holds the melody. The real question Tawanda needs to ask herself is whether she believes she's strong enough to stand on her own. Your goal? To discover the true self. That's a great one. And you're going to get a divine opportunity to find that out today. Amen. Because I, I have so a ready. wonderful, wonderful assignment for you. And that assignment is that you're going to go out singing today. Not at the karaoke bar, mm. but at the mall. Okay. Acapella. Okay. Oh, Standing on your own and wow. singing. We get the opportunity to see if who you are as to one is strong enough to stand on its own. This is going to be a very interesting ride for me. A very interesting ride for Tawanda. I'm very curious on how it's going to end. How's it going so far? It's good. I told my story today. Oh, Lord. Did you have to tell them? Yep. What did they say? Um, one of them was like, you mean Turner Brax is your sister? And I said, yes. I love her. I just love her. You go, girl. You know who said that. So, guess what my assignment is? What is it? I have to sing in public at a mall. You kidding? No. And just stand in the middle of the mall and sing. Well, what's the point of that? 
Mm-hmm. Well, I won't know until I get there. My assignment is to meet Bianca at a shopping plaza and to sing a song in front of everyone. Hey, Ty! <laughs> Good. So, you didn't change. I did This is your debut singing. I know. Is that how you want the world to see you? Well, I want I want it to be comfortable. Out in the public. Out in the public. All right, well, come on, let's go upstairs. But I know comfort is not a good thing. I should have been uncomfortable. How do you feel about this? Um, I'm a, I feel a little uncomfortable. Talk to me. Um, I've never done anything quite like this, but I've gone on edge before. As we move toward discovering the true self, it's about whether or not who you are and what you have can stand on its own. You have to know that. It doesn't matter what anybody else right. thinks. Do you know it? And can you stand in it? And can you be in it? I feel that I can. Well, today we're going to have okay. an experience that demonstrates that. <laughs> How will Tawanda sing and feel without the Braxtons by her side? So you're going to sing the Star Spangled Banner. We're going to put up a sign. We're going to announce you. I'll be your favorite cheerleader. I'll be here rooting your heart. Might even pass the bucket. I don't know. Tawanda's voice is the voice that held the Braxtons together. Now it's time for her to find her own voice. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce to you Mr. Tawanda Smith. Be nice to her. Give her some love, why don't you? I'm, I'm feeling anxious. I can't wait to get started. And I can't wait to finish. <laughs> Tawanda was the middle child, the one who didn't get all the attention. Well, it's time for her to discover who she is beyond her famous last name and her position in the family. <clears throat> oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light was so proud. It's like the smaller the crowd, the more nervous I become. Oh, the land of the free and the home of the that this is my only performance so I'm like taking a breath that is finally over uh -uh. and then we're going to see if we get any different response here okay now this is it we'll know for sure we'll know for sure <laughs> It's time for Tawanda to find and share her own voice and to realize that her talent, her gift, isn't about her sister. It's about her. Oh, the we there at the plaza responded in a positive way both times. Not that it doesn't matter that you're her sister, because I don't care what you do, you're going to be her sister. Right. But it doesn't stop you. Do you get that? So to the question, is what I have strong enough to stand on its own, what would you answer? Yes. Yes. So now our work is about really discovering what that is. Right. Is that good? It's good. 
I'm so proud. Hey. So what'd you do? Say, uh, you know where the virgin story is? I don't know that, but tell me what you did. I sang um, the Star Spangled Banner twice. Mm hmm. And that was it. Did you hit the high note? Yeah. Did you remember all the words? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you got it right there. Yeah. And that. the rock is red, Blair? Yeah. <laughs> T has just come back from a record store where she had to perform the Star Spangled Banner. And as she's walking in the door, Miss Deborah starts singing the Star Spangled Banner. And the rock is red glare. As Deborah sings the same song that I had to sing during the exercise, it actually reminds me of several people that I'm around at the karaoke bar, and that is, hey, look what I can do. I can do it, too. Oh, say, can you by the dawn's early night? That's getting on my nerves already. I mean, Was still there. It seems like she's competing with everybody in this damn house. I guess it's getting on my nerves. Oh, say, does that start spangled? With Deborah reacting and acting this way, I believe it's going to get worse before it gets better.